My name is Katie Hoff. I'm a two-time Olympic swimmer, three-time Olympic medalist, former world record holder, pulmonary embolism survivor, and best-selling author. Over the course of 20 years, I have been able to consistently push through and tap into an extra gear. At the age of just nine years old, I nicknamed this gear my deep down gear. It is the reason I have been able to achieve extraordinary success in my swimming career, and it is why I am confident I'll be able to overcome any curveballs that life throws my way. I am now extremely passionate about sharing key lessons and tools that I believe anyone can apply to their own lives so they can relentlessly and consistently access their own deep down gear. So how do you access that gear? And then how do you make sure that you continue to call upon it and access during all of those struggles that we all go through on a monthly, yearly, and lifetime basis? Because usually it goes from, if my life depends on it, your effort level and tapping into that extra gear is a 10, right? We would all agree on that. If our life depended on it, or the life of a loved one depended on it, we are going at a 10. Now take a second, use that same lens and look at something that you do where you're going after something. It's a goal, it's an aspiration. That's what it takes. Like, are you giving that same level of effort? When you put everything on the line, and I mean everything, and pour your blood, sweat, tears into a goal that means more to you than anything, like you need that goal, you don't just want it, you need it, and you miss it, there's going to be disappointment. There's going to be sadness, and that's okay. It's it's okay to sit with that for a second. But once you lean on your trust tree and they pick you back up and you can go from emotional to logical, the real win is understanding all of the qualities and skill sets that you develop from chasing after that goal. And so I would challenge you guys for a second. What are some daily goals that are quantifiable and full of accountability? Like I have a massive whiteboard that's six feet tall in my living room, I kid you not, where I list all of my daily goals because I want it out there. I want my husband to see it. I want people to see it when they come over because that builds accountability. Is it's all about the process. It's all about the details. And it really allowed me to have confidence then moving forward because I knew that if I could do that, I could do anything. And I think the main word in all that is consistency. It can't just be one week, it can't just be a month, it can't just be a year, it has to be never ending, consistent strength, effort, work, pace, just never ending. I think that's the, the, you know, no matter what happens, if you have a bad day, keep going. If you have a bad week, keep going, because ultimately that consistency will add up and get you to where you need to be. And the thing too is it's okay if, if there isn't one. You know, there's been times in my career that are talk that I'll talk about where I had to be just as consistently hardworking, relentless to find a goal that gave me that feeling when I didn't have it. But when you do have it and you have that need, what are you willing to do? And I think the next piece of it is being able to understand the small wins because that's what drives the consistency. Having a goal that's obviously gonna be high up on a mountaintop because any goal that matters enough to you is gonna be very challenging to accomplish. But what are all the things on a day-to-day -day basis, on a week-to-week -week basis, on a quarterly basis that you need to do? Again, that quantifiable piece. Like I said, how many emails am I sending? How many phone calls am I making? You know, what, what connections do I wanna make? I know these things sound so obvious and so simple, but I don't find that everybody does them, right? They, they take a little amount of time to set the intention. You're checking the boxes, you're, you're getting your daily goals in, your weekly goals, you're getting through tough months, all the things that just allow you to continue to access that deep down here. So what I've come to realize is that it doesn't matter where you're from, what you're doing, your DNA. As long as you find that deep down gear and to find that goal that means more to you than anything else in this world, that relentless spirit will rise up inside of you and allow you to take on and challenge anything that comes across your path.